Hello my friends, welcome. I am uh, here in Ironforge on my way out to Loch Modan and I thought I'd take a few moments here to just kind of give you my uh, first impressions of week one here on the old WoW Classic. For those of you who've never played the original vanilla WoW, if you're too young to have played it or if you never played it back in the day because you didn't have access to a computer, which was a very real possibility 15 years ago, you know, maybe you didn't even have the internet, you know, which again was a very real possibility even with AOL doing its thing, sending out everybody uh, those coasters <laughs> month after month after month. Your free sample starting now, start today, you know. Back in the day, uh, well, remember, you might not even remember when AOL was, you had to pay per minute. E gads, before they went to a flat fee? Oh my goodness. But this game, I think this game does not predate the uh, flat fee. I think flat fee was out at least before this game came out. Anyways, I'm on my way to Loch Modan, and I figured I'd take this opportunity to kind of chit chat, like I said, to let you know about some of the things that have been going down. By and large, I've had a pretty positive experience. Most of the people that you're running into are people that want to see what it's like, you know, and and embrace that whole classic concept, you know? The um, the newer World of Warcraft uh, is apparently super, super simple. I know I started finding it pretty simple when I stopped playing during Cataclysm, uh, but uh, most people these days are telling me, uh, some friends of mine who still play tell me it's incredibly simple. You know, you don't have to walk anywhere, you don't have to do anything, and when you don't have to walk anywhere, you're missing out on all of this, right? So I'm gonna zoom in real close here and let you let you look around. Look at Look at all of these graphics. Are they the best? I don't know. Probably not as uh, fulfilling as some of the graphics you see these days, but, um, you know, back in the day, this was pretty cutting edge, and it was one big consistent world, you know, it wasn't, uh, no loading zones, it was like one of the first games I can remember with no loading zones that wasn't a text-based MUD, you know, <laughs> so that was, pri prior to World of Warcraft, I was playing text-based MUDs, that's correct, I didn't get on the EQ line or the Ultima Online uh, uh, jive, because they just, they weren't there for me, looking at them, they were very... Uh, they weren't quite ready. Now, this was almost quite not ready either. It has a lot of uh, issues also. You know, there's a lot of sameness about it. Most of the trees are identical. The path is very tiled. If I zoom way out, you can really see what I'm talking about. Like, right there along that line. And you can see how, like, each block is, like, one block over and over and over again. But, you know, it's okay because they went with this. And if you zoom in real close, you can see how cartoony my little avatar is. Pretty simple polygons for the time. Advanced for the time, but simple also at the same time so while maintaining that cartoony niche it was uh i guess i must not be in the right stance let me see here uh where are you oh, i'm all good it's all good i left towards lock modon <laughs> nice guy i was gonna ask that guy for a a buff but uh, he wasn't available anyways let me keep the ui interface on just in case somebody else whispers me uh where was i i don't know uh <laughs> The graphics were all right, but I started playing it and kind of cruising along and having a good time. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, every now and again you run into some problems because we were playing on an RP PvP server. So I was trying to RP the PvP-ness and people weren't uh, really having it. They were just kind of ganking our, the RPers. That's basically all the PvP people were like, it's, it's a PvP server, what do you expect? They thought that just killing people was the threshold of their RP, right? So that didn't last long. After after a couple months of that, the guild kind of fell apart because, you know, guilds are like bands. They break up, you know. Uh, and uh, the, the group was awesome. It's just that people were moving and families happened and things like that. So they had to do other things. So then I went out to a PvP server with some friends of mine. And it was on. You're killing everybody all the time regardless of what happens. But one thing I noticed over and over again were that certain character types... I think that guy's going for that ore, isn't he? Yeah. Certain character types would... Uh, kill more frequently than others is he or is he going for some herb there's plenty of there's plenty of ore down here in the quarry we'll get some down here plenty of people are killing people left and right for no reason so uh you know most of the time it was a rogue or somebody who was coming out of hiding to kill you or somebody I waiting until you were almost dead travel. against a in, an npc and then trying to come kill you i know one of these guys has a crest is it this guy how are ya? yep i'll do Off that one too you. so let me take a look those might be a little low for me they are a little low, but I'm going to do them anyways. I'm going to do them anyways because they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, I'm a little over leveled for this section. I'm heading over to Loch Madon to do a couple things, and then I'm going to take the path all the way to uh, uh, all the way to uh, Wetlands to get the flight path. That's the plan for today. So what else have I noticed? Oh, let me give this guy a hello. Hi. Maybe he'll buff me. Come on, buddy. Give me a buff. No buff? Okay. That's all right. So what have I noticed? Uh... Is there more of that going on? Are people pretty much uh, still in that mentality where they, uh, go ahead and give myself that, where they want to 
you know, gank you for no particular reason, just for the sake of ganking? I don't know, because I'm on a PvP or a PvE server this time. And uh, my auto attack's way over here in case I forget where it's at. Oh, here we go. Still low level, still don't know really what I'm doing with my warrior yet. I'm it's been so long since I played, I don't I don't remember all of the abilities really, <laughs> to be honest with you. Last time I played a warrior, I went straight uh, attack stance, berserker stance, all the way up to like, I don't know, 65, almost 70 before I ever hit defensive stance. But this time I kind of want to be a defensive oriented tank, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes, right? Uh, so I'm on a PvE server this time. I don't want to deal with all the ganking. I just want to kind of enjoy myself as I'm cruising along, playing the game, right? Where is this mine? Is it over here? Where is that thing? Is it up there? I don't want to have to go up there to get this. Alright, whatever. I'm going over. Oh, that one's up on the top of the hill. Well, eh. Well, well, heck. Uh, uh, I see how it's going to be. Alright. Boom. I'm going to give myself some of that. And we're going to do this. And then we're going to start destroying you. Ah, rawr. Take that. Alright, so I'm on a PvE server this time because I don't want to deal with people getting, you know, ganking me all the time. If I, I just want to kind of cruise along and have a little what's going on why am i in combat with whom am i in combat all right get if i'm in combat that means i'm not losing any rage though boom and yes some people say that i should you know, like try to maintain my distance with these dudes but i'm indifferent to that i mean we're, i'm so overpowered right now why why even bother right just gank them and gank them run up on them and just crush their world don't go anywhere there you go so what have I found? I found that most people are pretty cool. Most people are enjoying themselves. They're being kindly. They're not being too crazy. I have run into like one or two, one person in particular who was particularly self-entitled. Uh, out of nowhere, I noticed that somebody was cursing at me in, in private whispers. So I was like, excuse me? It's like, don't act like you didn't see me. I was like, don't act like I didn't see you. I mean, I didn't. I just saw your first whisper now. What's going on? Now I'm going to look back at your other whispers. Oh, you want something from me? Okay. It was. I was on another hero. I was on my priest. And uh, basically the guy started berating me. I was right behind you asking you for your buff. And you didn't do anything. Now, people, most of the time I played about this range on my hero. If I, or this range is about right. But sometimes I'm like this. I'm all the way first person sometimes just because, you know. So it's very likely that he could be standing all the way back here and I would have never noticed him. And I'm sure that's what happened. But he still called me names. And then, then uh, when I said, oh, okay, I man, I'm sorry. What right I mean, do you, do you want some help now? And he's like, ah, forget it. You know, you're obviously a, a nerd, you know, or what did he call me? What did he call me? A uh, derp. You're a special kind of derp. I was like, whatever. So uh, I, there, you have some bad people every now and again. Some self-entitlement still comes along here with people that just don't get that uh, this game wasn't built so that everybody can help them succeed, you know? It, it's supposed to be a team effort, and that's fine. But don't expect somebody to help you just because you, you demanded it. Gads. Yeah, oh, well. So that's the one negative I've had. By and large, I've had a wonderful positive experience. We've had a lot of good people here. And uh, I, I think I'm going to continue on with it. So if you're playing the game and you want... Whoops. Sorry, buddy. I'll let you have that guy. I'll just kind of finish him, do that one little move for him. And there's that guy over there. So if you're playing the game and you're thinking about playing, then, you know, I kind of recommend it. It's it's still, by and large, a positive experience. And uh, if you have never played it, then I suggest you do so, you know. You might as well. If, um, if you played it in the past or you played current WoW and you're on the fence about whether or not you're going to play WoW Classic, uh, remember that your WoW Classic account uh, is the same as your WoW uh, Battle for Azeroth account. I think that's the newest one that they have right now. So if you have those, what's going on? Why am I in combat? Why does it keep saying I'm in combat when I'm clearly not? All right, let's do this. Start attacking this dude. Check it out is what I'm saying. It's It's been kind of fun. Still a little bit of an experience, and as I continue to level up, we'll see where I go from here. If you're interested in playing with me, by all means, hit up the uh, Misriol server and say, Hey, JC, I want to hang out with you, and I'd be happy to. You know, leave a comment below and let me know that that's what you're doing. All right, I think this is going on a little long. I'm starting to get distracted by these mobs, so I'm going to go in here, wreck all these fools, and get my leveling done as one is wont to do playing World of Warcraft. All right, my friends, if you want to play, hit me up. Until next time, however, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Hey, let me wave at you. Bye-bye. <laughs>